Tom Brady's valued $500,000 Super Bowl 51 jersey has been found in possession of an international media member. And uh, Francis, I got to say, when Trump finds out that it came from a Mexican reporter from Mexico that took the jersey originally, oh man, is he going to be like, he's going to get a nasty Trump tweet. <laughs> Could he handle a nasty Trump tweet? Apparently not, uh, because uh, Trump thinks that his tweets are the reasoning for certain NFL like players this. not getting picked up. He goes like this. He goes, he goes. Do they want a nasty Trump tweet? They want one. I want it. I really, really want a nasty Trump tweet, but only if you tag me in it. Uh, yeah, because there's no <laughs> doubt you're picking up. Do this. not, not tag me. Yeah, you can't just say <laughs> Jason Rubin and everyone's oh, like, oh, they'll end nothing. up going, going towards the Crash what Bandicoot do I, guy. What do I get? He'd have like a billion. And he'd be like. What's the Crash Bandicoot guy we finally, done to Jason? We finally talked on Twitter. The Rubens, he wants the to Rubens make, United. He wants to find all the Jason Rubens to make a Jason Rubin robot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great guy. Yeah, I know. Hey, man, he, I think he, yeah, I gotta be careful. I think he might have been a Trump supporter. But all things considered, he made Uncharted. So it's fine. Everything's fine. Jack it's, and Dexter, Crash Bandicoot. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, Francis, I'll get through the, this Tom Brady stuff, and then we can also quickly discuss the, uh, <laughs> the ang why the Trump tweet is coming up. So, uh, for one, Brady said that he is uh, happy my jerseys from Super Bowl 49 and 51 have been recovered. Oh, yeah, because he also had his jersey from 49, and he also had Von Miller's helmet from Super Bowl 50. He did? <laughs> the same guy? She's like going around collecting memorabilia after <laughs> everything? That what is going on? And I want to thank all of the law enforcement agencies involved. I think they worked hard in this case, and it's very much appreciated. Hopefully, when I get the jerseys back, I can make something very positive come from this experience. I do need to point out that, like, even Tom Brady can formulate a better statement than our own goddamn president. Um, <laughs> so the law enforcement source told ESPN that authorities used footage from Fox, which showed Ortega, uh, the guy's name, full name is Martin Mauricio Ortega, who was director of one of its newspapers, Diario La Prensa, until he resigned last Tuesday. I wonder, I wonder why. why. <laughs> They're coming for you, brother. A law enforcement source, so I told you before, he showed uh, Ortega entering the locker room and with his back to the camera, reaching into Brady's bag and putting the jersey into a black plastic bag and just scurry off. That's, that is just <laughs> absolutely baffling. Like, that is what just- What do you think, he's just like, huh. It kind of reminds me of that case, remember when it, uh, there was the example where it was like, the White House is the most secure place in the world, and then there was that video, there's just a guy walking along the lawn. He wrote, Joe, Joe Rogan is <laughs> a stand up and he goes, his whole point of it is, if you, if you, I feel like you ask somebody, what is the security at the White House, Dave? If you ask anybody here, they'd be like, they got fucking missiles in the grass, <laughs> <laughs> snipers on the roof. So the guy, like, who supposedly, according to the story, had like guns in his trunk, decided to take a knife yeah. and just run screaming across the lawn, thinking he's just gonna get blown up, gets to the front door, and it's unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in! Oh, so, <laughs> according to the story, for like 30 seconds, there's literally a madman running, screaming <laughs> around like an empty White House floor. My God. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you'd think that, I'm not saying people would go up to him and be like, uh, like everyone should, should be expecting this to happen, but there was an example. <laughs> His jersey was stolen from a previous Super Bowl. Right. Von Miller's helmet was stolen. It's it's a known thing. So if you some if you see someone just reach into Tom Brady's bag and take it, and it doesn't look like it's Giselle, doesn't look like it's anyone close to him, then you'd be like, uh, "Where are you going with that, bud?" He's like, "Oh, I'm, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go and give it a spit shine really quick and then come back." You know, it's like, "What are you?" I what guess. You see, to me, this is one of those things where it's like sometimes hiding in plain sight works best out of everything. Yeah. I'm not sure if I told you the story, but there's like the Vice article, which I thought was hilarious, where people, just two guys, decide like how. How many free events could they get into with just by wearing high res vests? Like the, the very bright yellow and orange. Right, true. So they wore them and like they're on the floor at Coldplay at the Meadowlands. <laughs> just because they walked right up the tunnel. No, head nod, yep. They went to the San Diego Zoo. They were just like, yeah, we were they right through, no ticket assigned, just right through. It's so all about comfort. This guy probably made it look, I mean, first of all, he's already successfully done it in the past two years. This time, he's probably riding in with the whole whole pocket full of confidence and just dropping down to me like, oh, no. But Puts it on, makes it look like a little dirty Tom Brady jersey that he owned, <laughs> just walks out with the fans. <laughs> oh, you guys, I like your Tom Brady jersey. I like your Tom Brady I like that you, it, it's got some like, you know, it looks it's got like, like a smell about it. Yeah, look, did you run in it? Oh yeah, I just went and I played in it just, just to, get that, to get that war in feel. I got some dirt on my shoulder, you know. I got some Atlanta Falcons tears on the arm. Oh, 
uh, anyway. Isn't that amazing though that $500,000 is what the value would be, the same number that the sports auctioneer Ken Golden, who has sold previously uh, game used jerseys, uh, that he, I think, rightfully. Yeah, here's owned. always the question I have, right? I get it if there's like, um, if there's, if you still, if there's stuff that's stolen in the black market and you sell it because it's kind of hard to identify whether or not it's stolen at times, you're gonna sell it. Uh, you, you find a mobile phone, you sell it. If it's if it's bro, if it's like cracked, so that you can just go in and you don't need to. Have, it, it's open right. to all network servers, yeah. right? But who do you get to buy a jersey? Like if it's valued at that, I imagine you're not just going to keep it and hold it for all time. I imagine you're probably going to want to sell it. That's why you stole it in the first place. Who's going to buy it? I have about 40 people on my phone I went to school with that if they had a disposable $500,000 without even thinking, without even thinking, they would call that person and be like, yeah, I'll take it right now. But then cash. if someone ever sees it, then you're going to be known, they're going to come after you. They're going to be like, oh, I would totally that also want to frame one of my friends. <laughs> like, there he is, my buddy Dave. He stole the jersey. <laughs> just wearing it one day and you walk by Tom Brady and he goes, <laughs> Yes, with smells a like, keen like, sense of smell, Mr. Smells like Brady. The shirt, smells like the shirt I wore. <laughs> <laughs> smells like the shirt I wore when we beat the Falcons. Oh or you God. can attract Giselle. Yeah, and she's like, she goes, I know that smell. Smells like Tom. <laughs> you're not. Smells, smells like my Tom. You're not Tom. <laughs> uh, you're not my mom. <laughs> There's a, a great book, Ben Mesrick is a really good author. He's the one who wrote uh, The Social Network, the original uh, book, Accidental Billionaires. He also did 21, the, the Blackjack movie. Um, he wrote oh, like, the original it. stories of those, so really good writer. Uh, he wrote a book called Sex on the Moon, which is about an actual attempt to steal moon rocks, like from literally the moon. And the reason people wanted it so much, these like couple of like science nerds pretty much, it's one of the most valued items in the history of our, of our, of our earth. It has no value. Oh. Because they don't know, it's pretty much just like, look, we have it from the moon. <laughs> Again, and maybe it's just my capitalist mind that I'm always thinking like, well, who's gonna buy it if it's gonna know about you? You got to take it and go, can I sell you some moon rocks? He's like, <laughs> well, how much is that worth on eBay? And he goes in, it's like, no value. He's like, fake. It's, it's great if you do the, uh, what's the despicable me? We're going to steal the moon. <laughs> <laughs> also Vegas. We oh. stole last year, we did good. We stole the Statue of Liberty from Las Vegas. <laughs> And the Eiffel Tower, From also Las Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> he goes, also Vegas. <laughs> uh, so who plays his voice, Steve Carell? Uh, Steve Carell. That's funny. Yeah, All right, I, well, uh, I feel uh, like we've been on Brady in for, for no, too it's long. It's like one of my favorite stories of the day, Tom yeah. Brady. I'm glad it, it found its way uh, home safe and sound to Tom Brady. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's he, I hope he keeps hold of the next Super Bowl win and the next Super Bowl win and the unfortunate next Super Let Bowl win. Let me tell Jersey. you, when we find who stole Tom's jersey, we're gonna send Daring that gonna, a tweet. We're gonna send that a tweet. It's gonna be the worst tweet he's ever received. We're gonna build a wall with tweets. <laughs> gonna print all my tweets and put it on the wall. He's definitely gonna bring it up. Like we joke about it, it's coming, it's coming up. It's, oh, undoubtedly. Oh, there, there it, it is. is. Yeah, the green, it's got the big green, it's almost recognizable <laughs> based off just the look. The big green stain on the shoulder.